Angelina Jolie has just revealed that she had life-changing surgery following a frightening cancer scare. The Oscar-winning actress revealed she had surgery to remove her ovaries and fallopian tubes last week. This comes after Jolie underwent a preventative double mastectomy two years ago. The actress lost her mother, grandmother, and aunt to cancer and has a gene mutation that predisposes her to the disease. She says that now I know my children will never have to say mom died of ovarian cancer. In a candid op-ed for the New York Times published this morning, Jolie says that two weeks ago results from a blood test showed what could be a sign of early cancer. The 39-year-old immediately called her husband Brad Pitt. He was on a plane from France within hours. Jolie writes, the beautiful thing about such moments in life is that there is so much clarity. You know what you live for and what matters. While more tests showed Jolie didn't have any cancerous tumors, there was still the chance of early stage cancer. The mother of six decided to have her ovaries and fallopian tubes removed immediately. It has pushed Jolie into a forced menopause and means she will not be able to have any more children. Jolie did plan to have this surgery in the future regardless, but says it's not for everyone. She writes, the most important thing is to learn about the options and choose what is right for you personally. Did Mila Kunis just reveal she and Ashton Kutcher are married? The actress was one of James Corden's first guests on The Late Late Show, and he may have struck gold with this one. Oh, are you married? Did you get married? Have you got married? Oh, no, maybe. Oh, come on. <laughs> no one's maybe got married. You've either got married or you haven't got married. Have you got married? Maybe. Well, that's a yes as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Did you get married? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Let me look at your hand. Boy. Oh, you got married. They got married. Hmm, no official confirmation yet. And Us Weekly reports Kunis was just, quote, joking around with Corden. Kutcher and Kunis have been engaged since last year. They welcomed their first child, Wyatt Isabel, in October. Jennifer Lawrence is saying goodbye to Mystique. The actress has confirmed that next year's X-Men Apocalypse will be her last time playing the character. J-Law has been part of the X-Men franchise since 2011's First Class. Betsy, open the door! When it comes to stunt work, there's no Mission Impossible for Tom Cruise. But the actor reveals his latest do-it-yourself move for Rogue Nation was, quote, the most dangerous thing he's ever done. The 52-year-old dangled from an Airbus A400M during takeoff. Cruise wore lenses covering his eyes so he could keep them open for the scene and insisted on doing it all in a business suit. The actor says doing such a crazy stunt was necessary to top his biggest moment in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol when he scaled the world's tallest building. Her designs are worn by the likes of Kim Cattrall and Kate Hudson. We caught up with the creative force behind Pink Tartan at the kickoff to Toronto Fashion Week. I'm Cameron Williamson, editor-in-chief of Flair Magazine, reporting from World MasterCard Fashion Week for Entertainment City. The final show of the evening was Pink Tartan, and Kimberly Newport Mimran showed all kinds of 70s silhouettes and a lot of pants. There were cropped pants, there were long flares, there were high-waisted pants. She also was experimenting with more of an Eastern influence. It's really about a monastic, monochromatic feeling. How much are you thinking about your customer when you're doing this, or is it purely just a runway presentation? No, it's all about my customer. It's really about giving women options on how to get dressed. So that's a wrap of day one of World Master. MasterCard Fashion Week. I'm Cameron Williamson, editor-in-chief of Flair Magazine for Entertainment City. Now, do you think Tom Cruise's daring stunt in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is an attempt to revive his career, or is he just an adrenaline junkie? All you got to do is tweet us at Ant City.